What's up guys, it's Ben here from North Carolina. I'm just on my way out to meet some other paramotor people. These guys fly near Lancaster, South Carolina, which I think is less than an hour from where I fly, so I'm eager to get out there and meet them. I do when I launch in a site that I'm not familiar with is just get up and start looking for some landmarks. So I saw a couple of uh, water towers nearby that I could just keep in mind. I take stock of things like cell towers or other obstacles that may be in the way. And then I'm looking for other geographical features. So for example, I can see what look like some rock formations several miles out, maybe 10 miles out. So Todd Falstad is here with us today as well, as is Mike. And I flew with them just a few weeks ago down near Columbia, South Carolina. And so it was really cool to see them here again and get a chance to fly with them again. There are a lot of pine trees around here, a few farms. So I can see the city of Charlotte from here, and I can see some of the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's a bit of a reminder that I'm really not that far from home, even though I spent about an hour getting here by car. I believe Brian's up in the air, and he's looking good. That's his first time being up in six months since he's had a bit of a hamstring injury and surgery. There goes Todd. Now we have four pilots up. All good. So Brian may have some favorite places to visit when he flies here, but I'll kind of follow along here. I can hear you now. Todd and I were able to use our Bluetooth intercom and mobile phones to talk throughout the flight. That's right. I wonder what those rock formations are south of us. Well, Brian told us later that there's actually some gold mines that are not too far away. He had highlighted them in a video that he made earlier on his channel. Check it out here. Well, we may lose a little bit of visibility as the sun hides behind those clouds there. You know, I always run the 360 degree camera on a selfie stick to get a front facing view. But in this case, I was playing with some different camera angles and taking a look at the motor and the wing from some different perspectives. And I thought it turned out pretty cool. Check this out. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Who's doing the hay bale uh, slalom down there? Is that you? <laughs> Well, I did leave a camera out in the field, and I was treated to this time lapse of the clouds moving by and a couple shots of paramotor pilots. The winds were pretty high. I think they were 12 to 14 miles an hour at altitude, and I didn't dip down too much that evening. I did capture this great little image of Brian's family, his grandchildren and daughter and son. Terrific to meet all these wonderful folks, and I appreciate them having me out. Well, it was just about time to set it down, and I had a nice landing right here. Then we all stood around and just talked about paramotors well past dark, and 
It was a great time. Always good to meet paramotor people and spend some time together. Can't wait to do it again. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Make sure to come back and check out the next flight.